In September 2023, Sean Strickland accomplished the nearly unthinkable. He stunned Nigerian-born New Zealander Israel Adesanya to claim the middleweight title by unanimous decision in the main event of UFC 293. At the age of 32, Sean's career has largely been successful with a 28-5 record in mixed martial arts bouts. But this is only the second championship he's ever won, following five successful defenses of the King of the Cage middleweight title. Despite now having one of the most shocking wins in UFC history tied to his name, Strickland is anything but showy. At least, not when it comes to his personal life. Way back when, in his youth, Strickland claims he used to be a skinhead and led a childhood full of hate, following in his grandfather's less than noble footsteps. Weird, like neo Nazi white supremacist days when I was younger. I got kicked out of school for like hate crime, and, like all this crazy shit, but I was just like, I was so angry and I had a lot of. Things might have been even worse with his parents. In fact, Sean can remember sleeping in his mother's room many nights of his childhood because he was afraid his father might come in and harm her. As you can no doubt assume from those stories, Sean's home life as a kid was frightening to say the least. In the ninth grade, he was even expelled from school for perpetrating a hate crime, which is what led his mother signing him up for MMA classes at the age of 14. All that anger and resentment fueled his passion for training, and as he became became adept at defending himself, Sean learned from people of all different types and races, which led him to abandoning his original mindset. Sean turned professional at 17 years old and made his debut in 2008 for King of the Cage, where he remained undefeated. Six years later, the UFC signed him to a contract where he compiled a 14-5 record over the next decade on his way to earning a middleweight title shot against Israel Adesanya in September 2023. You're probably thinking to yourself, that's an awful long time for a pretty successful fighter to go without a title shot. But don't forget that in 2018, Sean nearly lost his life and two years of his career following a devastating motorcycle accident in LA. He suffered numerous injuries and even required knee surgery, waiting over 18 months before he could return to the octagon. But after a couple of years spent back in the UFC, Sean suddenly found himself earning an opportunity he didn't expect. When Dricus Duplassie dropped out of his middleweight championship bout with a foot injury, the challenge to face one of the industry's top combatants, Adesanya, otherwise known as the Stylebender, fell onto Sean. Strickland was a huge underdog coming into the fight. According to CBS Sports, Israel was the 7-1 to betting favorite heading into the bout. But the fighter, who was expected to be nothing more than a speed bump, suddenly became much more than that early on in the match when he floored the champ in the first round and set the tone for what was to come. As Israel withdrew further and further into himself, Strickland sensed the moment was at hand and in the final minute delivered a flurry of punches and kicks which helped ensure the decision would go his way. Now, Sean Strickland is something he honestly never thought he would be, the UFC middleweight champ. But if you think that's gonna change the way this guy lives his life, well, think again. Sean Strickland has never exactly lived what you might call a charmed life. His childhood was rough and the majority of his adult years have been spent in the gym. He never exactly prioritized his home life, not even after compiling a fairly compelling record in the UFC. Back in January 2022, Sean took the step of inviting his fans into his apartment in Las Vegas to take a look around. And it was unlike any other house tour you've seen. All right, you guys asked for the tour of where I live. And now I don't want to make you feel bad about your life. You got to understand, I'm in the UFC, I make, I make a decent amount of money, so. Sean Strickland doesn't live a life of luxury, and going by this tour, he's pretty content owning very little of anything at all. Next to this table where he keeps his motorcycle helmet is Sean's guitar. He's owned this object since he was a kid, hoping it would get him noticed by girls, but he's never even learned how to play it. Instead, he found other more inventive ways to put it to use on his father. Hanging a few feet away from the guitar in the middle of his living room is the one thing that gets the most use in the entire home. Sean's punching bag. In terms of furnishings, Sean has a solid gray couch that looks like it's perfectly comfortable, even if it is previously owned. Rather than decorate the rest of his living room, the man has decided to set up a drill press in the far corner just in case the need to construct something by hand should suddenly strike him in the middle of the night. 
Opposite the drill is Sean's kitchen. It boasts light wood cabinets, granite countertops, a built-in dishwasher, and a missing drawer. Sean's decorative item here of choice is firearms. A lot of them. Considering everything I've shown you up to this point, I'm sure you're all curious as to what kind of state his bathroom's in. Well, that's not too bad. In fact, it might even be the cleanest spot in Sean's apartment. But even with that being the case, it's still apparently got a faulty toilet that doesn't flush unless you reach into the tank and pull out the valve. Not very convenient. Last but not least, we have Sean's bedroom. If you were expecting anything more than a mattress lying on a carpeted floor, I don't know what to tell you. At least it looks like he's got himself a walk-in closet, but considering everything else we've seen here, I doubt Sean has many fits. In fact, all I can see inside the dark recesses of that space are empty hangers. Well, there you have it, Sean Strickland's Las Vegas apartment. After winning the biggest fight of his career, though, Sean has received the biggest payday of his life, with estimates suggesting he earned as much as $1.5 million, doubling his previously estimated net worth in one fight. Is Sean gonna spend some of his purse on a new home? He might. Then again, he also might spend some of it updating his rundown yacht. Dig deep enough into Sean Strickland's social media accounts and you'll find another home tour of sorts. Well, an up close and intimate look into his prized yacht. Okay, like everything else in Sean's life, this 1992 sailboat is a little run down, but Sean is nothing if not frugal and he managed to make this thing last for a while. He even installed a toilet seat below deck just in case of emergencies. Opposite that is Sean's sleeping quarters, and much like back home at his apartment, he has no problem using nothing more than a mattress to sleep on. It might not look like much, but whenever Sean was back home on the west coast, he would take this sailboat out onto open water and unwind by swimming with the fishes, literally. Unfortunately, his love affair with sailing would come to an end in summer 2023, when his prized possession finally gave up the ghost, started taking on water, and wound up landlocked. A a couple of days later, Sean would abandon the vessel on the side of the road. First, he'd salvage everything worth saving. Eventually, the police would show up as well, but they didn't seem to be all that concerned about Sean's dumping hazard. So, if you happen to be somewhere in the California area and drive past this baby sitting out there on the side road, feel free to claim it for yourself. All right, everyone, that's gonna bring this Sean Strickland house tour to a close. Thank you so much for watching. And before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you became a millionaire overnight, would you update your living situation immediately? Let me know if you'd start house hunting right away or spend the money on something else instead. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name's Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.